Hello, hello. Welcome to today's live plan with me for the new week of October the 10th to the 16th. My name is Mary Ann and you can find me on here on YouTube as well as Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. So here I share my planning, habit tracking, well-being and budgeting and hopefully you can get some ideas and inspirations about whether you're a seasoned planner, new to planning or stuck in a rut. Now if you are new here I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that bell to get notifications of when I do upload new videos and uh also, uh, anything that I do mention in today's video, I will have all the details in the description below. So let's get started. Let me get rid of some of these things on hand so it's not a distraction more so for me. Now, I'm just going to share with you my desk and show you the plan I'm going to be in today. So I'm in my A5 Filofax Finsbury planner and this is in the color mustard and I will be planning in my well-being planner insert as well as my weekly two-page spread. Now you don't have to have these planner inserts to be able to follow along. You can use whatever planner you have on hand or if you're a bullet journaler, a disc bound planner or any other type of planners. Really it's just for you to get some ideas, inspiration because I know for me sometimes a new week starts and I do want to embellish my pages but I don't know what to do. So hopefully you can get some ideas today. So let me get started and right, get right into it. Now the inspiration for, uh, let me just actually, I'm going to just share see if this works I have um, I've been doing a lot of practice uh, off camera with the live stream and so I want to just make sure uh, before I so the color scheme for this week's plan with me are going to be in black and white and gray color scheme so uh, let me just show you the current week that we have so it's um, Halloween theme so I wanted to do some doodles uh, as you can see Sunday nothing I just rested today and the well-being planner spread orange and yellows so I wanted to do something contrasting for the new week so we're going to stick with the grays and black and whites so let me just see if I can do this I have a new toy so it's a stream deck that helps me flick through the different layouts so the these are the Tombow jewel brush pens so again in the description I think I have N95 which is a light gray N65 and N45 which is quite dark so I'm going to use that as a black I also have washi tapes so these are let me just so this one is a filofax moonlight washi in black these ones are skinny washi tapes so you got check uh check stripe and black and these are exclusive to washigang.com and then these ones here i think these are from dazo so this one is uh stationary doodles so I think I'm going to be using that one for today. But it also did come, I think this one is a camping, lots of camping doodles. So uh, for today's plan with me, I'm going to use the stationery. Why, of course, we are a stationery lover here. So let me just go back to here and share my screen. So let's start off with the well-being is this the one? Yep, well-being planner page. And I always start off with, let me just make sure, take this off so then it's not glaring on the page. And I'm going to see if I can smoothly transition and zoom in a bit. Sorry about the uh, wobbly camera. Now, if you would please um, do let me know 
uh, actually, do let me know who's here today and if the uh, volume is and the audio is working well. Uh, the, if you have watched my previous plan with me videos uh, that went on live, I actually had lots of issues with audio and video and hopefully it is a lot better today. I think I accidentally pressed stuff there. So I think, all right, I was playing around with too much stuff. So I think I'm going to use N65, so it's the middle gray. And, oh, thank you so much, Elliot. Thank you for letting me know. That's so nice of you too. I always get scared that I'm talking away and I'm on mute. So uh, October, so I'm just going to do the first three letters of October, October 10th. 216. And for those of you who have followed me in the past, you know I like to outline my uh, letters and numbers with, let me see, I don't know if that will focus. So I'm going to use a, oh, let's see if this will focus on here. Yeah, Clenar Pentel Energel pen uh, with a 0.5 refill on the inside. And so this just really makes the uh, Tombow marker, whatever color you're using, pop on the page. Hello, Amanda. So lovely of you to be here again. I think this is your fourth one. So you've been with me from the very beginning. Thank you so much. I appreciate you um, tuning in. I know I have been playing around with a different um time that I'm releasing. Uh, at first, I think I did at two, three o'clock, but I don't think I'll be able to sustain that on a, technically it's Monday morning here in Sydney, Australia. I can sustain that, especially now school is starting back up for us for term four. So that's the, I'm going to get rid of that. That's the date range. And hopefully my, so I'm using my iPhone uh, for my overhead camera. So hopefully it focuses well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stagger the uh, washi tape. So then, because if I just have this one straight onto the page, the little doodles may not stand out as well. So let's just get these all laid out. So hopefully this... Okay, is nice and straight because uh, normally I'll be looking right down on it, but I don't want to see, see the top of my head. And then I'm just going to stagger the stationary washi and see how that pops with the contrasting. So if you've got solid colored washi tapes on hand as well as printed ones, this is a really good idea to use up those washi tapes that I'm sure you've collected along the way like I have. Whoop, let's just throw that in the bottom. So now what have we got? So we have the date range as well as whoop, the washi tape. Um, the next thing I do is the seven areas of focus. I don't know if you can see that. The uh, I think I played around with the Tombow marker too much in that spot and it bled through. Now I do use a 160 GSM or 41 pound paper and most times you can't see the highlighters or markers but I think I just went over that spot. Um, so if you are going to use highlighters and markers and you go over a couple of times it will bleed through to the other side. So next we're going to do my areas of focus. So let me just share with you. So the based on Zig Ziglar's uh, Wheel of Life, uh, seven areas of focus, it's just, to get a good balance, you should be um, uh, focusing your time in seven different areas. So in no particular order, there's spiritual, mental, family, social, career, uh, physical, and finance. So um, let me just... 
and I'm going to write them down here just to, in keeping with the theme of the grey. I'm just going to use for this week the Platinum Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And does this work? Yeah. Except I don't want me. I want I want this one. Does this work at all? I don't know if that works. Let's play around. As much as I'd want you to see my face, I really want you to see the this one. And it's not gonna do it. Okay. So uh for spiritual. I um, try and meditate in the morning, meditate, and I use Headspace app, not a sponsored post, um, for uh, 10 minutes. And uh, Normally I follow the whatever schedule they have, so one minute deep breathing, a little video, and then a, um, a meditative thing. That's I only do the six-minute one because sometimes I run out of time and I want to get to my daily routines right away so next a physical i want to work out i haven't been working out i've actually been sick for the last few days just a normal flu but it's hit me real hard um so that hasn't been good at all so physical um family so for family uh, uh home maintenance so really cleaning because if the place a little flat is nice and clean everybody's happy because I'm not screaming at them going why is there so much mess uh okay so now work out home um and then social uh reach out to family and friends so reach out to family and friends so just that little text a quick um phone call just seeing how they are making sure to also check up uh Check up on those friends of yours and family members that are the happiest. Sometimes we think that they've got it all together and, you know, they've got every, all their ducks lined up in a row and they're so happy and they've got everything going. Um, but sometimes they might be the ones suffering the most. So sometimes, what, did I, what do I normally say? Those with the biggest smile sometimes have the biggest burden to carry. So to make sure you check up on your happy friends as well as those that you think just need a, a nice phone call. So we have, uh, what do we have? I can't remember. Uh, so we got spiritual, family, social, career. So for me, I'm a full-time homeschooling mum to my youngest. But I have my side hustle, as which is uh, Instagram, YouTube, my planner inserts. So I make sure I um, uh, I put some income producing activities within my day. Um, what else is there? What did I miss? Family mental. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let's do this first while I remember. So finance is ex uh, tracking our expenses. So then. Um, for us to know where our money is going, we need to make sure we're, we're tracking that. So um, do you guys let me know in the chat or if you're watching this on the replay, do you track your expenses on a regular basis or is that something you want to start doing? Uh, let me know and um, maybe that's something I can uh, feature in future videos on how we started doing it. So meditate, work out. And which one am I missing? Which one do you guys think I'm missing? Career? Mental? Ah, mental. Mental is read or learn. Um, so reading or, or learning uh, to grow my um, presence on social media. So I've been doing a lot of uh, online courses as well as reading books to um, help our um family financially while I'm homeschooling full-time. Uh, hello, Sylvia, how are you? Um, so much, so happy for you to join me from Texas today. I uh, appreciate you being here. So, all right, let's now get going for the next thing. So the um, what I'll do for the, the rest of the week is, uh, of course, I want to try and action all these steps each day. And once I do uh, action them, then I will use my uh, dot marker 
to highlight what I've actioned. Now, this bit here is the Wheel of Life pie chart. Uh, I will fill this out once I've completed this week. As you can see, October 3rd to 9th, I haven't, oh, no, you can't see. Um, I haven't done anything. I, I, we, we started, all of us were sick and my husband took the whole week off um, just to uh, recuperate and hopefully, you know, not spread the germs through our, to his workmates. So I don't think this will be a very um, useful uh, wheel of life pie chart because I didn't really action anything. But normally, in normal circumstances, uh, depending on how many days I complete each area of focus, I will highlight the pie chart. And then let's see, do I have one that you can see? Previous one. Let's have a look at September. September. Uh, yeah. So that's how it would look um, filled out. And so I can see here, I didn't do much of um, connecting with family and friends. So that's something I need to focus if that's the case on the following week. So week of October 3rd to 9th. And then this one here, I'm just going to mark six and a half weeks on my sleep tracker. That's the ideal number of hours of sleep I would like to get to start as, as a starting point. Um, it hasn't been, I haven't been doing that too well. Uh, although I do take naps. Let me see if I can zoom out a bit. Okay, so seven areas of focus, sleep tracker, and I'll fill that out in the new week. Now the wellness. So the other things I want to track are things like drinking water. I'm going to just look at the previous week. Uh, I'll eat a piece of fruit. Um, piece of fruit. Uh, no sugar or junk food, although that hasn't been successful because I love, you know what I love? I love the Asian um, lollies. So the, the sour lollies that's covered in sh sugar or and chili so that hasn't been really good you know um <laughs> for the no sugar no junk food wellness uh i try not to do it too often but they're just too good um i'm filipino and so there's a lot of um filipino uh candies that uh i love so um i need to get better at that uh okay so no sugar get outside. We have not been able to get outside much because it has been raining um, constantly here in um, Sydney, Australia. And yeah, just stayed in. Although I did manage to venture out today because I've been stuck inside. So um, let me just write out the rest of my wellness uh, six to eight glasses, uh, habits, 68 glasses, six to eight glasses of water, not 68, and minimum 5,000 steps. Okay, so let's just recap. So for wellness, where's that? Can I zoom in? Oh, hello. Let's see. I made sure this time that all every time that I have pants on I wonder if this will now I think I've, I have to play around with it so I'll try and okay so eat a piece of fruit no sugar chunk get outside no spending victory log 68 glasses of water and 5,000 steps um, just some other things to make sure that I have a well-balanced um, wellness uh, Hello, my love of crafting. Thank you so much for joining me, Toronto, Canada. I appreciate you being here. Now, uh, Elliot, you have a question. Do you set a time limit for other tasks other than meditation? Yes, I do. So uh, on here, I haven't written it down only because I do know it offhand now. So work out at the moment. I want to try and get minimum of 10 minutes cardio just to get started. It's one of those things that... Uh, it, it hasn't been something that stuck. Uh, I did uh, 
a few years back with my mum, those boot camp things, you know, you go for uh, an hour every morning and we were there 6.30 a.m. each morning for a whole year. We lost weight, we got fit, we got skinny. And then we thought, hey, um, well, we're, we're going to be good at this now. We know what to do. And, of course, we stopped and the uh, eating started and the pounds or for us here kilos came back on so it's something that I would like to do so workout uh, minimum 10 minutes uh, cleaning is uh, I do have a you know trying um, a cleaning schedule cleaning list we are only in a small flat uh, here so it's not a um, we I clean as I go uh, side hustle tasks normally after our homeschooling so that's from three uh, uh, after homeschooling around about three o'clock I have my coffee clean uh, and then I do side hustle task until about six six thirty and it's dinner time and then read and learn a minimum 15 minutes uh, I set my timer if I go over that's fine if I go under um, I try and make sure I get at least 10 to 15 minutes of reading or learning and then expense tracking it's only a couple of lines on the expense tracker for what has been spent on that day so thank you so much for that question yeah I do I trying to make sure I keep a uh, limit to the task uh, yes Veritas the Amanda they are so yummy but full of sugar it's probably like a teaspoon of sugar per candy so that's not good all right so let's have a look so we've done the this side whoops popped it in the wrong spot this side of the well-being planner so let me just quickly have a look where I'm at um okay so now we're going to work on the morning journal so um, a morning journal, the things I write, and it is only a couple of lines. Uh, so then you're not pressured to, excuse me for a sec, I think I feel a burp coming on. Nope, no burp. Um, so the things I write on here is how I feel, why I feel that way, what can I do to make myself feel better, whether I am having a great day, what can I do, you know, um, to keep that going? Or if I'm having not such a good day, what can I do? And if, if there is space, what I'm grateful for. So really, this is a little check in on yourself. So I've been learning about emotional intelligence and about accepting your feelings as neither good nor bad, that it's a messaging system. So it's sending you, hey, you're sad. Okay, that's not neither good or bad. But why am I sad? Um, you know, something happened. Oh, of course, you should feel sad. So you should acknowledge it. And by acknowledging it and giving it um, uh, space uh, and time to feel that way, you are more likely to respond to it rather than react. So you have time to, to plan, what can I do? Okay, so if I am feeling sad, I'm just going to sit on the couch and cry or just stay in bed if I can um, and and just sit with it, give it space and not bury it uh, and, you know, later it'll come up and it'll be worse. So that's what my morning journal allows me to do and I have timed it to see how long it takes and it only takes one to two minutes. So a couple of lines, nothing um, uh that takes too long. So um, I'm not going to do stickers for today. I'm going to use my Tombow. I think this one is the N65. So where are we at? So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, you're welcome, Elliot. And now I'm just going to do the highlight of the 10 because you get the idea with regards to outlining the rest now I'm going to see if I can sorry zoom in on this a bit more I don't think I can I think I pressed must have pressed something on here okay that's a bit better it's hard to see the screen when it's at the top above me Sorry, I'm just picking up the stuff off my floor. So next is the take a break uh, tracker. So these are for micro breaks. So micro breaks are those things that uh, you should just 
take several times a day for one to two minutes. So uh, taking one minute deep breathing, have your coffee break, get up from your desk, walk around, get outside. So it's one of the type of three breaks you should be taking when it comes to um, avoiding burning out. So, uh, oops. Is it this one? What did I do? Okay, um, so macro are those half to a full day off once a month. So, uh, you know, go for a picnic. Um, I'm trying to think up of things that doesn't involve a lot of money or spending money. Um, you know, uh, having the day to yourself and just walking around the shops. Uh, but if you want to spend some money, Manny, Petty, uh, go to the hairdressers. Uh, meso are those breaks that you should take one to two hours off a week. And so these three breaks you should all take, um, uh, not just one or the other. Um, macro, meso, micro to avoid burning out. So uh, for my daily, daily ones, I take um, one minute deep breathing. So normally it, this is about at 11.30 or 10 30 11 30 i have my watch set to go off one minute deep breathing and then um there is a an app on here that uh, has a timer and also is it haptic vibration that tells you when to breathe in and to breathe out so one minute deep breathing and just keeping an eye on the time and making sure I have plenty of time for the weekly two-page spread. One minute deep breathing, and then I write in my gratitude log. Again, only one to two lines. So in this, um, I have a V3 new planner bundle. Sorry for the plug, but let's see, make sure I don't touch the other. Ooh. So let me just take my clear divider tab. So um, the second last pages of uh, the V3 New Planner bundle, there is a dotted uh, journal. And is that going to focus? Focus. Um, and then, yeah, so uh, I just write, you know, what I'm grateful for in the, that time of the day. So I do gratitude log and one minute deep breathing twice a day. And sometimes I don't do it all the time. Um, your planner is not, the, the role of your planner is not for you to fill it in, you know, perfectly. It's there for you to, as a reminder or as a guide, that if things may not be going as planned, it's, uh, I always liken it. Do you know what I liken it? Um Hello, budgeting mama. Nice to see you. Um, you know what I like in these trackers and planners? You know how when you go to the cinemas and you don't, um, you're not there early enough and then the, uh, the shorts and the tra uh, trailers start and then the lights go down. Uh, but then you've got the lights on the aisle to show you where you need to go. I liken my planner to that. So when I'm having a hard time, and I need to uh, get back on track, I go and um, go to my planner to assist me. So, uh, yeah, sometimes I have um, followers on Instagram who tell me that they don't fill in their trackers as often or they're not good at, you know, at filling it in. Yeah, the whole point of tracks is not to um, be filled in perfectly. It's just, you know, there. So then it's a guide. And if it doesn't get filled in, then it just doesn't get filled in. Um, so gratitude log and then coffee break. Coffee break. Um, at the end of the day, clearing my desk. So then that way when I um, start up the next day, I have a nice clear desk. And then nighttime stretch because I do sit for most of the day doing my planning as well as my, our homeschooling that stretch is really good so oh I keep is it this one so there we are that is the well-being well-being planner spread with my areas of focus wheel of life pie chart ready to get filled in once the oh 
the previous week has been completed, a wellness tracker, my morning journal, and my one minute deep breathing. So next, it's time to get into my weekly two-page spread. So let's have a look. I'm just going to, if you hear papers moving about, it's just my little um, list of what I need to do next. Now, uh, ah, yes. So let's have a look. Now, of course, if you are finding value in this in today's video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and uh, tell um, YouTube that, hey, people want to see it. So that, that'll be really nice. So um, yeah, let me know if there you do have any question uh, below. But my question for you today is, what planner do you use? Are you a ring planner? If so, what size? A5, personal, mini, uh, A4? Or are you a disc bound planner? Uh, what um, brand do you use or are you a bullet journal uh, I used to do bullet journaling from 2017 18 2019 for three years I did bullet journaling in those dotted journals the Lockstone 1917 so yeah pop it in the uh, chat or if you are watching this on replay let me know in the comment section below okay well where are we weekly two-page spread I am feeling so much better. I did a um, five-day challenge with StreamYard, which is the um, live stream platform that I'm running this on. And uh, we did a lot of different uh, assignments of getting on camera and knowing all the bits and pieces. So I feel a lot more confident than I have been the, than I was in the last in the first three lives. So, um, and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, you know, uh, uh, presenting it to you. And so, all right, let's go. So uh, let's get back into it and stop chatting, Miriam. So same thing, I will do the date range and my... Moonlight washi. There we go. I'm sure if this is not straight, I'm going to straighten it once I'm off camera. But I try not to be too pedantic about these sort of things because there's just not enough time in the day to get everything perfecto mundo. Is that the one I was using? This one. All right. So these are really cute, it's got these. So like I said, you don't have to have exactly the same washi. Um, I don't know if there's Dezo where you are, uh, but if, whatever uh, printed washi you have, and then if you have any uh, block color or solid color, then do that staggering. Next, I'm going to do the calendar. So we are on the technically the third week, one, two, third week. So this mini calendar in the corner, hopefully I can do this properly, is um, great for you if you're on this week's page, you can refer back to the pre what date was it on last Saturday, what date was it um, next week. So one, two, three, four, eight, nine. 10. So for us, this week, uh, our school term four starts. I better not talk while I'm doing my 17, 18, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, and 31. I have to pop the top there. Um, yeah, so school starts. On Tuesday, we have normally uh, Monday uh, for beginning of school terms. The teachers have a, um, a pupil free day and then they can do their admin stuff, I guess. So next, uh, let's have a look. Where are we at? Um, so this is a Monday to Sunday um, start weekly two page it has it has 
four sections per column. So this bit here, you can uh, put your top priorities or known events and appointments. And then these three sections, you can either divide it into your morning routine, afternoon routine, or evening routine, or you can divide it into um, work, school, home, or children's stuff. And then um, that way, you can plan it, whatever. So whatever you want. But because school is starting uh, next week, as well as we have quite a few different therapy appointments for my youngest, I'm going to do the time blocking. But before I do that, I better write at the top there, known events and appointments and bills to pay for week of 10th to the 16th. So I won't do this on camera only because it's I, I'm very mindful of the time. So I'm just going to put here on, oh, actually, when I, I on the 11th, back to school term four, on the 12th, mom and, my mum and dad come back from the Philippines. It's my husband's payday. Uh, there is a speech therapist appointment we have. And then Thursday, I've got a monthly payment I've got to make. Um, sure that there's money in my account, pay rent, and then on Sunday the 16th, our uh, internet and phone bill are due and my 52-week savings challenge and transfer PayPal. So I'm going, I'll write that off camera, but in the meantime, I'm going to, I better date this week. Is that right? Okay, so let's have a look. So Amanda, A5 disc bound, Levenger with two inch aluminium discs. Yes, I do have on hand the Happy Planner um, disc bound planners in the letter big Happy Planner size, Happy Planner Classic, as well as mini, but uh, I use them really only for merchandising purpose. So uh, I do make some inserts for those sizes as well and um, for photo uh opportunities so I don't really use them for my personal planning although I did do use it for one month's worth uh, sometime last year I think uh, and uh, ring planner personal here yes I have quite a few different uh, personal size planners I that I use I use that for my five-year planner no five-year journal uh, so for one I have January to June and then another one July to December because there's so many pages and throughout those five years I'm hoping to add um, memory photos so it's going to start bulking up so that's why I already divided it up into two planners so yes I have a for me I have the a5 personal and I think I only use the mini now for some um, to house my stickers all right so next let's have a look Okay, so I'm going to use again um, for the dates. I think I'm going to, yeah, just do little circles on here. See, you don't have to have stickers for everything. You can just use your markers. And now, of course, a lot of markers out there are quite expensive once you start adding up all the different colors you want to get you know what's really good your children's crayola markers that's i don't know a few dollars for 12 pack so you don't have to have although <laughs> here is the girl who has tombow jewel brush pans zig clean color dot markers zebra mild liners um, but I have collected these along the way. So, um, but I know when you start looking at other people's planners and uh, their Instagram, you can get um, caught up in the in the hype of new highlighters, markers, and pens. Because I know I have. I had to have all the colors uh, available for all the different, I think it was the Copic markers, very expensive markers. Um, 
I think they were ten dollars a marker, and I wanted to start doing coloring and greeting cards uh, when I was in the greeting cards phase. Didn't really use it uh, a lot, but luckily my son, my fifteen-year-old son, um, got into a visual arts design school, and that's one of the um, uh, markers or uh, tools stationary um, that they use as part of their curriculum so it wasn't wasted or, but if I you added it up all those markers it was very expensive too expensive okay all right so there's the date uh, as I said I'm going to write down the in known events bills out off camera so if now what I'm going to do is use my zip clean color dot markers and as a check marker and then write down the things I have to do I'm trying to figure out there okay so um, am routine now I because on my habit tracker I have a lot of my AM routine there so I don't need to write them all down here same with evening routine a lot of them are there so I use my habit tracker um, to refer back to for what things I need to do in the morning as well as night time uh, AM routine uh, I have my get things done review number one I'll have in the link below I have a playlist uh, with regards to what I check with these get things done it's based on David Allen's uh, book how to get things done and you know uh, making sure that you have a system where you write things down that you will check regularly uh, there's no point having lots of lists and they're everywhere it's when one notebook is in another it's on a post-it note it's on a board so um, uh, how to get things done um, methodology tells you uh a system to make sure that you're on top of the things that you say you want to do that you want to action so that's why uh, Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I have a get things done review um, so this one is coffee coffee break gotta schedule that in cleaning and then side hustle task and then workout and then PM routine. Now the here it'll be the same. So I'll just pop that down there and write that off camera. But but we have homeschool and so that's AM routine. This one is get things done review number two. Get things done review number three homeschool starts for us because my older son who goes to mainstream school uh, high school um, he has his school starts on Tuesday we also take a day off um, it's a mummy teacher pupil free day as well for me so uh, gives me that extra time to get myself sorted out and then here um, I think it's 1 p.m we have a speech therapy appointment for my son so that's the same let me just while I remember on Thursday so this one will be a.m routine uh, homeschool and then we have a one oh actually that's ot all right this is where my handy dandy um let me see if i can get that can you see this one is the paper mate dry line grip so it's uh i've tried other um correction tape i think tombow uh this one i just got from the local grocery store and it works really well it doesn't um take off if you need to go over the same line it doesn't take off that tape as much as the other um, more well-known brand so that one actually should be ot section ot not speechy so this one 1 30 p 
p.m. speechy. And then I fill out the rest. They're pretty much exactly the same. I don't do um, fill out too much on the weekend. Normally that's when I'm doing my um, plan with me and everything else. So let's just have a look. So um, Budgeting Mama, I like B6 size in discs. Uh, I'm not sure what B6, B6 dimensions are. What's the closest um, to that size? Um, hello, Laura. No, you can always watch it in the replay, but thank you so much for joining in. Uh, I appreciate you being here. And um, uh a5 Filofax rings, HP Big, Erin Condon Petite Folio, and A5 Stellogy. Stellogy. I do make my own inserts for some of them because it keeps my spending under control. Yes. So um, it, me discovering how to make my own planner insert has been um, lovely because then I can customize it to my own needs. And it was actually I just started out using planner inserts that I made personally for myself and then people on Instagram were kind enough to ask me where they were from and if I was selling them and that's where this journey uh, began but yeah so yeah making your own um, if you've got Canva that they've got lots of templates there so you know um, check that out uh, and you can even make a side hustle out of it. Yes Sylvia the markers and pens I'm a markers and pen girl and I've got so many over there that I haven't used. And I'm hoping that maybe if these um, most used ones run out, I'll use some of those. The Crayo Colors of the World 24 Pack in the regular tip and fine lines are great if you like neutral colors. The best part is that they are very affordable. Yes. So we have those markers as well. But at the moment, we're using them for our homeschool and for um art and talking about different skin colors and as well as diversity we are all different um, and so I'm using that as part of our we call it PDHPE physical development health and physical education so um, yeah just teaching my son uh, the differences and embracing diversity um, budgeting mama 5.3 inches by seven uh, oh, so that is the b6 so 5.3, uh, so that's close to, I hate Happy Planner Classic, is that right? I'll figure it out myself once I, I'm off the offline. Okay, so let's have a look. Make sure I'm covering everything. We talked about my time blocking, my school starting. Now, if you do I uh, want to, you don't have to, of course, if you do want to uh, purchase any of my um, planner inserts, you can. And it is, uh, if you go to, um, let's have a look, um, MarianneCrasp.com. Uh, the best way to look for the planner insert is if you go up to the shop section and there'll be a drop down box and then you can pick the uh, planner insert size that is ideal for you and then you can have a look at the different planner inserts available now I do have quite a few different ones so the best way to um, look for something is just typing it in search so v3 uh, well-being planner and v3 well-being planner I think I have so sometimes um these uh yeah so well-being planner and you can choose whether you're an a5 happy planner classic and it'll show you some of the different ones as well so um let's have a look okay so a little plug there uh but um if you have any questions do let me know um v6 is larger than happy planner mini but smaller than an a5 also like an in between yeah in between excellent um i know i do get some requests for other size planners um uh, I, but it's just a matter of where the supply or demand is and because i do promote a5 planning on my instagram that's who are uh, are there but hopefully one day soon i can uh, cover all different size planners as well 
So uh, I think that is it for me. Um, yep. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions or any other comments? You know, um, I feel so much better this time round. And I guess, as they say, um, let me just get rid of. Oh. Uh, um, yeah. Like they say, the more practice you get, um, then the better you are at it. So I do thank you all so much for joining me in this live. I appreciate you and I hope to see you for my lives again. And I'm um, planning to do uh, other videos on how to, how I use my different planners, how I plan different things, um, how I create some of my do-it-yourself planner stationery. I have to do an update of how I make my clear divided tabs because I need to make some for my personal planner. So I'm hoping to get that up. I'm hoping by by October. So if there's any other thing you want to see, uh, this is a good opportunity to let me know in the comments. I know I've asked that question in the past and I haven't really done much yet, but I think it's the, the confidence thing and um, just me getting in my own way. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.